Hello viewers, Super GT here. I'm in New York for the World Tour and I'm going to be doing a track guide for Fuji, which is one of the races that they'll be doing in the Nations Cup. So let's do a couple of laps and see how we go. Okay, so Fuji is a very difficult circuit, this one actually, to get everything hooked up in one lap. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go for one lap, um, nice and slow. I'm slow anyway, but we're going to go for a, a slow lap and I can point out a couple of different things that you're looking out for on the track to mainly to get your braking right. This track really is important in terms of your braking points, especially coming into turn one, which you're coming up to here. So you can see on the left-hand side, let the ghost go. So you've got the big uh, braking markers on the left-hand side on the wall. The cones are there to help me as well. But you're braking on a 150 board going into this first corner. And then you get nicely hooked up to the apex. You've got to be really patient. And then on the exit, you've got a lot of this around this track. The Astro Turf. You do not want to go on it. As soon as you're on that, you've got no grip. You're sliding wide forever. So absolutely avoid that at all costs. Second corner, or turn three officially. Uh, looking for the 100 board. And you, can re you have to really use a lot of that curve on the inside. You can use a little bit of the curve on the outside. But you have to be back to the left before you come into 100R. And it's sort of a double apex corner. So you power in, let the car pivot mid-corner, come back towards this pathway on the right-hand side, that tarmac, where that cone is, and bring the car back to the right-hand side, coming into the hairpin. And this is a really important corner. So again, of course, hook up with the apex on the, on the inside, and then power out to the outside in as straight a line as, as you possibly can. Difficult to do, though. As you then power out onto a medium length straight, down the hill, into a very good overtaking opportunity. So look for that gantry and there's a shadow coming across the track, you can pretty much break on that and it sets you into this corner very nicely. And these two corners you really have to get really hooked up the kerbs, really get friendly with them as you come through, straight line the exit and you can push that cone out of the way, kind of in the racing line. And then this final section is really difficult because there's so many different variations of possible lines you can take through here. So normally you're going to go out wide for this one and then come back for a very late apex and then straight line the power as you come towards the final corner. And again, you're gonna go deep, cut back. So a theme is developing around this track, which is straightening up the exit so you get good power onto the straights. And at Fuji, you've got a really long main straight, which of course makes for the best overtaking opportunity on the lap into turn one. Very big, long braking zone. So we're gonna go for a faster lap here. Um, a good lap would be less than 140, uh, 1 minute 40, so 100 seconds. So let's hook up with that apex. Half power, and then as soon as you feel confident enough, full power, keep to the right hand side, minimize the distance traveled, look for the 100 board, get the brake on that, and try to hook up with the apex the best we can. A little bit wide, so you've got to watch out for that. Very easy to get a penalty there, probably the most common place that you will get a penalty by running wide on the exit of turn three. Come back to the right hand side here. I think I've created a little bit too late there as we hook up with the apex, kind of. And again, on the power nice and early. Good overtaking opportunity down here. So if you get that corner wrong, you may well have to defend coming down the hill towards turn 10. On the brakes, nice and hard. And again, really make the most of this curb. You can get all over that. And this one here, I kind of miss it. But this one, definitely straight line that. Straight line, again, on the power. Make sure the car doesn't slide on the way out of the turn. Hook up with this curve all the way through. And at the end, we've got to make a massive mistake there. Uh, so you don't want to do that. So that's an example of exactly what not to do. Hold on the brakes into turn 10. Again, two tenths up, down to, second, down to first gear there. But I think you only need second. Although you can use first gear to kind of pivot the car through there. Straight line the exit. We need to really nail this final sector. We want to get below 1 minute 40. Hooking up with the curb here. Easy to go deep. And we kind of have done a little bit, but we can come back for that late apex. On the power as early as you can. You can use quite a lot of the curb on the exit. And then into the final corner. The final turn on the circuit. Very important this again. It leads out onto the very long straight. So it's crucial that you get that one right. And we are 1.7 seconds up on our PV. So that is going to be a 1 minute 39 point something. We'll find out in just a few seconds as we cross the line. So there we go, 39.5. A solid lap around Vuji. 
of course not as quick as the, the pro drivers here um, so they probably don't uh, need all of this advice they probably know it um, they probably know all of this they practice this circuit so many times um, but there we go that's a lap of Fuji circuit so maybe follow a couple of these tips and you might be able to improve the lap time a little bit but if you're a pro driver already probably ignore it <laughs>